Hello, welcome to Melissa, or Color All the Things with Melissa. I have a flip through for you guys. Um, this is the Moonlit Veil, a mythical coloring and art book by Annie Stegg Gerard. Um, I've been waiting months for this book. I had pre-ordered it um, on Kickstarter. She had already gotten all of her... Um, tears done and everything so I just did a pre-order I will link uh, below to where you can get that in addition to getting this I got two beautiful cards um, one a beautiful thank you card I just think it's gorgeous it's very shiny right here and then kind of matte on the outside this is one of her paintings and it just says thank you for your patronage your, your patronage allows me to continue doing what I love most. Thank you. And then she has a Patreon card here. She has another one of her paintings. It's just so gorgeous. Um, and then the patreon.com backslash Annie Stag Gerard. Um, and it looks like they get monthly coloring pages to download, behind the, sheet, behind the scenes photos, tutorials, and more. I may have to look into that. Um, you can see you're using the thing to draw. Um, this is just gorgeous. Just a gorgeous book. There's gold filigree on the words and the butterflies here. Um, but this is this is what the book inside it's perfect um, this is my first time actually opening up the book so uh, inside here is a great little um, protective sheet it says you use this protective sheet between pages when coloring with markers and ink because they are one-sided pages so you can use Copic um, alcohol markers so that's cool. So here's the, the cover complete and it is signed in gold ink by Annie. Uh, there's a little forward. These, oh, I didn't even notice they are perforated pages. How cool is that? Um, as long as I can remember, art has been my passion. I am inspired by folklore and mythology as well as the natural world. Illustrating the small hidden creatures that grace our gardens and backyards has become a prominent theme in my work. I love exploring the patterns and textures found in nature, from the perfect symmetry of an insect's wings to the variety of shapes and colors found in leaves and flowers. I am fascinated by the small hidden worlds that exist in our own backyards and the drama that unfolds between their unseen inhabitants, the secrets that are waiting to be discovered, and the mystery in the hidden moment of time. Getting lost in the details of an image is very meditative for me, and the calming act of rendering enables me to focus on the moment. I hope through the illustrations in this book you might take a moment to relax and share in the same tranquility I have found through art. Um, these are, you have this beautiful little uh, frame to color and these are one-sided but on the other side you have these little hidden gems of art so if you want to do just a little thing you can do a little thing instead of this big thing you will notice there is a lot of black in the shadows I'm not sure how that's really gonna work out but I have a feeling it's just going to make the colors just pop so much more. My little baby unicorn. It has a little section that says colored by and you can put your name. And then it says the name of the image. So each image has a name. This is innocent. And there's a lot of detail. A lot of intricate work. Oh, I can use my Tombow markers on here. And each back image is different. This is the deer, so it's a night scene, so you've got that really deep black. The paper is really good. It's not, when I mean, you can see some ghosting of the image, I haven't tested any, any medium in here yet. 
So I, I don't know that. Um, I will color this on one of my live streams at some point. Um, so you can get that information there. But it is really nice paper. And it is perforated, so you can pull this out. This is a smaller book. It's the same size as the Rita Berman books or the um, Good Wives and Warriors uh, Through the Looking Glass and, and or Escape to Wonderland, Escape to Christmas Past and all those. So it's a smaller, it's a smaller book. Um, let's see. It's roughly eight inches, eight by eight. Eight inches by eight inches. Um, so there's a smaller book. This is bedtime story. So again, you have a night scene. Um, I know there's some people that don't really like all the black. It doesn't really bother me too much. I just have a feeling it's going to make the image pop that much more. Um, this is Midnight Melody. And like I said, each one has a different little back. And then you just slide this in behind the page you're working on. And you have protected. Which I think is really, really cool. I really dig this page. It's kind of a plasticky, a plasticky page. So that'd be really nice. Perfume. It's really pretty. And see the the features are really soft, so you can kind of really blend out the uh, the pencils and get a really natural looking face. In the wood, very cute little cubs. I love the Victorian esque bodice and, and dresses. Dreaming, oh. Cute little frog, there's a snail, um, little beetles, some acorns. And I like that you have like a frame around it, but then it goes off the frame. I kind of like that. Flutter, little flying unicorns. Oh, looks like a web up there. Owl Moon. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. You can get a lot of detail in here. Blackberry Fox. Cute little mice around it. And blackberries. So you already know what it is. Familiar. Girl. Sorry, my kids are being kids. Uh, so familiar, cute. I love this. Love this fox. It looks like a nice tree back here. Adored. Beautiful birds. And then again, you have the frame, but it kind of goes off the frame. Idle Thoughts. Oh, Mermaid. Very pretty. Greens and blues. That's what this is. I would even I would even give her a green tinge. I love green tinged mermaids. The Empress. Wow. Look at that. Very pretty. The elk. Those looks like trees on the horns. Nocturnal Garden. Isn't this, oh goodness, what is the name of that? Oh, I can't remember what the name of this cute little guy is. I love it though. I just, these are just gorgeous. The Nymph. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Queen Bee. 
I'm not sure I'm in love with the, the black hair because then I can't, and what if I didn't want her to have black hair? I can't do anything about it. So I'm kind of, there are some parts where I don't think the, the black needed to be, but that being said, this is still a gorgeous book. The Phoenix. So much hair though. <laughs> so much hair. So pretty. Waiting. This is gonna uh, this will take time. These are these are not quick colors. At least in my opinion. I would it would take me a while. Some people they they just go for it. The serpent. Oh, I like that. I like that. The mermaid, another mermaid. Super pretty. The firebird. She almost looks like a peacock. I love the gowns. They're just crazy. Moon dragon. I love this frame the best, I think. The this part out here. I think that's one of my favorites. Lady of the Veil. I like this one. It has less black in it. A little more uh, ability for a creative background. The maiden. Very pretty. Siren, another mermaid type picture. The hanging stars, beautiful owl, just gorgeous. Painted wings, all those butterflies, all that hair. <laughs> I'm terrible at hair. Lady Luna, big moon behind her. You get to put in your own moon. Let's see if I can push this down a little bit. No, it's not going to be nice. The unicorn. Whisper. I think if I would make any suggestion to uh, Miss Deck Ger Gerard. Um, it would be to, to, to lay off the black a little bit. Some, some is good. The entire book, it gets a bit, a bit much. Moonlight Reverie. But again, like I said, it'll just make those colors pop. I don't know how, there's so many little details. I don't know how you would do this other than marker. Or gel pen. Or what have you. I mean, some of this you do pencil. Then you start hitting the, the dark, and then if you have prismas, it's just going to go over it. You have these itty bitty little spots. Admit, amidst the clover. Wish. Another little unicorn. The moonlit veil, again. That's the cover photo. Farewell Nocturne. Love those wings on her. And that's it. Until we meet again. So that is The Moonlit Veil by Annie Stegg Gerard. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little flip through. I will leave a link to where you can pick this up on Kickstarter. And they're still doing orders on that, I believe. Um... I'll leave a link to the Patreon account for her as well. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. And to subscribe, oh my gosh. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications for when I upload. Um, thank you everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye.